Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Hopsa. This is Michael Buckoff from the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. I'm also the one who has the Better TOEFL Scores website. And you just sent me an email, so I want to answer your question right now. She so said, hi, Michael. I hope you're fine. Uh, remember I emailed you about the subscription, the pre and post test, etc. My TOEFL test was on the 14th of May. So my TOEFL score is reading 15, listening 19, speaking is 20, and writing is 20. Then you continue to say, now I need to ask questions. I want to retake the TOEFL IBT and improve my scores near 85 to 90. Please tell me after subscription how many days are required to complete the preparation because I have a plan for the TOEFL IBT on the 25th of June. Uh, can I get my preparation done within 25 days? Is this possible? Anything is possible, Hop, so I can't say exactly whether you can or not, but I do know that you have 11 points to go. So your overall TOEFL score is approximately 11 points. I mean, it's uh, 74 points out of 120. And you want to get up to 85 to 90 points. So yes, it's possible. So probably uh, the most difficult thing that you're going to face here, I think, is your reading. That's the difficulty that you're going to face, I think, in terms of using my services, the vocabulary is step one, and that's probably the longest and the most difficult step to complete. Uh, I, I can help you really quickly, I think, with your speaking and your writing, and probably get those at least three or four points higher, I think, within 25 days. So if you get 23 on the speaking, or 23 or 24 on the writing, right, that puts you... Uh, even more, cl even closer to your goal, but it looks like we need you to make some improvements in the reading and the listening sections also. So with the reading, in my reading step uh, to pass a TOEFL IBT, I have all of the different question types and the specific strategies for answering each of those question types, and that should help you when you're taking the TOEFL IBT reading, you should be able to learn how to identify the question and know where to answer it. So you can save yourself more time in answering the questions. Also, the vocabulary area, I have two lessons that, that teach you vocabulary and context strategies and guessing the meaning of unknown words which will improve your reading. Also, I have the TOEFL Vocabulary Lesson 3 and 4, which are full courses. They're full like ebooks, And they can definitely help you improve your reading also. So I think it's a good, there's a good shot at it. Now what you can do is, uh, if you subscribe today or tomorrow, whenever you want to do it, uh, if you, if you want to take if you want to use my services for one month and then you can cancel at the end of that month, then remember, once you subscribe, you have to cancel the service or you'll get billed for another month, right? But after the first month, you, maybe you can cancel my service, you can take the TOEFL IBT, see how you do, and then once you get your results back, then you can make a decision on if you think you need my services after that. So my services are actually pretty convenient. I can help you whenever you want. You can use my services however long you want. If you use them for one month, it's only $29.99. If you use them for two months, then it's going to run you around 60 bucks. So it's not very expensive. And when you have questions, you can email me. I'll take time to answer. Sometimes, like now, I'll do it by video. Other times, I'll write you a response in an email to answer your question. Or I may answer you by audio. But whenever you do writing practice tests, I typically will either do a video or I will talk to you by audio and I will go over that practice test. If it's a writing or speaking practice test, I will give you specific comments on what you can do to improve uh, your speaking or your writing for the TOEFL. Alrighty, Hofsa. Anyway, uh, thank you for commenting uh, at or sending me the email and good luck to you.